people are under the impression that the Central Intelligence Agency runs psychological operations on American citizens. Certain authors appear to be under the impression that after JFK, the CIA divested its uh, portfolio. Some people even think the Central Intelligence Agency is a corporation. Like, everything's a corporation. Well, I, I've never, I can't imagine a theological scholar who does not read books, but as someone who reads books, nothing wrong with being a conspiracy theorist. The democracy, the legislature is a conspiracy elected to conspire on our behalves. When I was 14 years old, I was tried and convicted of conspiracy. You a conspiracy of one. So whether or not the state of New Jersey knows what the, the word means, the, the position of the law is that conspiracy exists. September 11, 2001, some goddamn wizard knocked down three towers with two planes and then shot a plane at my former employer. Whether or not the Central Intelligence Agency is corporate, corporate has the projects. Corporate thinks uh, a free country is a free for all. But it's all big money grab. I can't imagine someone being sworn to preserve and defend the Constitution. I mean, I could conceive like someone contributing to the fabrication of a news story it's wake a sleeping giant and it's best it, news can't just run a foiled plot like oh there's a threat that guy was gonna bite a dog but we stopped him so you know there, there may be like a spark to generate public interest I can't conceive of them you know cutting their own goddamn legs off and casting them into the sea grab their hat and walk out of Abu Ghraib without so much as a good luck kid who's paying for the central intelligence like apparatus like whatever it actually corporation dot gov better yet who's receiving the money for it the, and then uh, what when we hit the critical mass they're just gonna be like surprise the straw man account future reference corporate if, if you're gonna run a psychological operation on somebody it helps if you're smarter than them step one it it when they're six years old are they vastly more intelligent than you would have been at six years old it's, it's hard for an idiot to imagine being smarter but as an adult you might have possessed objective frame of reference okay this six-year-old Diplo or Diplo Corp needs to understand that the public is worth vastly more than the corporation I don't care how much they owe China oh the jobs well uh, I represent the currency Americans think that they're temporarily advantaged disadvantaged millionaires like, try a trillion and say, Sasquatch. First, I shall do no harm, or I'm not a doctor, right? So there's one echelon of authority. And then you got the democracy is not blanket immunity for whatever you did to get elected. All enemies, foreign and domestic, so help me God. Pretty sure he's worth more than you. Ultimately, you know, no matter what agency or bureau, whatever branch of cabinet, with Whoever we have to answer to the big guy, and you know, he outranks you. How's that for prerogative? I've never been catechized, so purposes of liability, I'm not technically Catholic. It's a zombie apocalypse. But as an Irishman, uh, I think freedom of religion, I mean, some people might need to clarify, say, freedom from religion because. I ain't got time for your beliefs. You're free to believe whatever you want. Don't affect me. Like, this ain't a church. I'm just a doorman. Uh, if you don't believe in God, God, you know, 
I don't claim to know God's plan. I just know it was written in Greek. But do you think he's going to hang, hang up his hat? And, no. You don't believe in God. Well, God knows all about you as far as, as, far as I'm concerned. He, he's not affected by whether or not you believe. But if it's a big deal for you, like, you insist that without proof that there is no, I have no right to believe what I believe, I can introduce you right now. So all your tricksy gimmicks and your space program, all that, that's public property and we don't owe so much that we can't afford to collect our own deficit. Well, the point I'm, I'm trying to get at is that somebody has a lie to Diplo. And that, I mean, you gotta have a lot of faith to do something that dumb. Diplo, Trump works for the Haitians. The man's got seven international bankruptcies. You think you, they work for him? You want to help me make the phone company speak English again? Should be lucrative. My name is Noel D. Smith, by the way. mfrodeo.blogspot.com. My first rodeo. I've never even seen one.